Hi everybody. Today we are in my dining room. It's really hot upstairs and I'm working on some painting today. Some hand-painted scrying bowls. I thought maybe I'd bring you along and uh, you can watch me work on something. Would that be fun? I'm Mickey Mueller. Welcome to my studio. Hand-painted scrying bowls. I put these on my Etsy shop for people. Here's one that I did just the other day. This is the wolf design, my spirit wolf that I did. And this is based on one of the cards from uh, Magical Dogs Tarot. This is the wolf that you see in the moon card. Uh, is. Anyway, and I kind of made little sparklies all around the outside of it and then Side the bottom. Anyway, this is going out to a customer. I need to, uh, I've painted it and now I need to cure it in the oven to set the paint. These are the kind of paints that I use. They're enamels, but they are water-based, so they're really easy to work with. Anyway, uh, I finished that bowl the other day, and today I've got to paint two crow scrying bowls. Uh, I've already done a design uh, of these. I posted them for pre-order on my Etsy store. And uh, so I've got two people that ordered them, so I need to get those painted up. So I've got this lovely little ceramic black bowl. I'm going to paint the crow on there and the stars and the moon and some trees coming up all around it. And I was super busy doing these today and I thought, well, I really wanted to shoot a new video. So I thought, hey, why not um, let you guys watch me work on one of these? I know when guests come over to my house, they get a kick out of seeing what I have on my old wooden art table. Uh, today I'm working downstairs because it's quite a bit cooler. It's kind of a hot day and, and so it's a little bit cooler. But honestly, when you're an artist, your studio is where you are. You take your studio with you. And uh, when you're a magical artist, doubly so. Um, before I get started, I'm going to just set this bowl down so I don't drop it or anything. And I'll, uh, I'll walk you around the dining room really quick. You can kind of see my workspace. I'm kind of proud of it. It's, it's a nice space. It's a good area. It feels nice in here. And then uh, I'm gonna put something on Netflix on my computer and get started on painting. It takes a while to do these bowls, so I'm going to put it on time lapse for you so that you don't have to sit the whole time and watch. You'll be able to see it in a speeded up fashion, but you can see how these bowls progress from start to finish, uh, kind of the process that I do. So uh, uh, we'll just take a few minutes and uh, glance around my, uh, my dining room workspace today, and then we'll get started. Okay, here's the space where uh, I, you just saw me, and now I'm back here, but I was over there, or right here. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's where that space is. We've got a little, uh, here. We've got a little electric fireplace there that I like to lighten the uh, winter time. Just some different random things. My Maxfield Parish poster, which I love. <laughs> these are my, uh, these are some paintings that were done for me by my friends, uh, Blake and Gwen, who are really super talented. They're druidic shamans, and uh, they painted these for me as a housewarming gift when we moved into this house, so it was really a treasure. I've also got a couple pieces of art back here that I still need to frame. But this, lovely, lovely, that is a print by my friend Brad Moore, who is a super talented uh, metal artist. He does a lot of album covers and stuff. This is the other one that was behind here. I just love his work. I think he's very talented and a super nice guy. Anyway, Brad came over here uh, with Sandy Wright, who's a really good friend of mine, and they're, they're a couple. And uh, I've known her for years. She was she was in my wedding, <laughs> so we were roommates and everything. She's a really dear, dear friend. But they came over to visit, and uh, I got to look through his portfolio and got a couple pieces of art. We went out and had food. We had a really good time. Anyway, awesome, awesome people. This is just some more stuff. This is my personal scrying bowl. And <laughs> I'm knocking stuff down. Oh, no. I dropped a stick. 
This is my personal scrying bowl uh, that I use. That's also hand painted. I'll probably do another video to show you how uh, to use these because they're really neat. This one portrays all of the uh, four seasons portrayed in trees. It's kind of a neat thing. Uh, yeah, there's, oh, there's Dan and I when we got married. <laughs> That's a treasure. And then this is just uh, where we have all the fun party stuff, all the drinks and drink accessories because I like some wine and stuff. And, margarita glasses, recipes, cookbooks, all kinds of things there. Uh, my stick, I think I'll pick that up, put it back. Okay, over here is my tea station. This is where I have all my tea. It's a pretty cool space too. I have lots of different kinds of tea. I like to drink all the time. I've got a little, a little hot shot thing there to heat up the water for tea and then oh my gosh more tea down there you might see if you're lucky you might see some dog hair in the corners because we have a very hairy dog and she is always shedding everywhere so when guests come to my house and I make them a cup of tea this is where we go and then over here is my little china hutch I've got some different kind of like cool little china and stuff in there Random things. Hello to the goddess Rhiannon. <laughs> there she is on my wall. That's one of my paintings. I'll give you a little. And yes, you can see in the reflection there, there's my iPhone. That's how I record all my videos is on my iPhone. Anyway, there she is. Crystals and stuff over here. Some different stones and crystals in this bowl that I use for different kinds of magic and spells. Skeleton back scratcher. That's my dog barking. Maybe she'll come in and tell us what she's barking at shortly. And then I've got a bunch more stones and crystals here. And a pretty little plant. It looks loves the sunlight. This really cool uh Oh, green man wand that my brother got for me last time. He and his uh, wife, beautiful Pam, were in town. Brian and Pam. Hi, guys. And let's see. And that brings us over to my, my little uh, triple goddess statue. That's also my design. I did that for uh, Sacred Source. And they produce this, these statues. But I did the art, I designed it and sent uh, drawing the and they cast them and everything. So, but that's my design. My triple goddess statue. And oh here, yeah, this is kind of cool. We found this. Dan and I were on a walk and we found this beautiful Luna moth. I'm gonna mount it and put it into a uh, like a bell jar or something. I'm not sure yet when I how I'm gonna display it, but it's just too pretty. You can see I didn't bother to clean up because uh, you know, I knew you guys were coming, but that's I'm a mess. So there's some incense ash from the incense I was burning. That's pretty, pretty fancy. Um, then some plants here on this thing. Lots of feathers. Dan goes for lots of walks uh, ever since he got his Fitbit, and he uh, he gathers up all the feathers that he can find. There's a bunch of them. There's some more down here. And all of my various and sundry herbs for burning, sage and lavender, palo santo, all that jazz. And then just some different, you know, where I burn my resins and stuff like that. It's just a little kind of quick altar space for me when I want to do some quick workings. Uh, where I have everything at my fingertips here. My beautiful black moonstone bowl that Dan got me. I was on a book signing for my Llewellyn's Little Book of Halloween and um, he and my friend Kim were walking around and he picked up this beautiful bowl for me from Aquarius Books in Kansas City. And then there's just some more random stuff down here. Um, prosperity spell, a little lavender candle, some various uh, 
stuff, pencils, pens from the stuff I've been working on. And uh, that's my window that I get to see when I look out, uh, when I'm eating my breakfast sitting here at my computer. And that's where I'll be working today when I'm working on a Painting these scrying bowls. Yeah, this is kind of funny. There's my to-do list that I've been going through today. I wrote this at the top and underlined it. Seems super important. Um, jumper lane. No idea what the heck that is, but it's underlined, so we need to make sure we do that sometime today. So that's got to happen. My brushes and stuff that I'll use. I just did these yesterday. These are uh, these are my brand new Halloween cards that I did. So these are all up on Etsy now. I'll flip through these for you real quick. Um, that's the Halloween Guardian. Did a Kate. And that is the Pumpkin Fairy. So I was pretty happy with how these turned out. I think they look pretty nice. They're, let me see. They're blank inside, so that you can write poetry or your Halloween message, Samhain message, whatever you want to, for people that you're sending your cards to. Um, I thought they turned out kind of cool. But I printed these out. Um, I just did one of each so that I could take pictures of them to put up on Etsy. And then the rest of them we just print to order. So way. I need to get paint. I got a drink. I probably need to make some more tea because I'm almost out. That's going to have to happen. Um, my bowls over here, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I did was I spritzed my area with uh, my spray smudge, which the recipe is in another video that I'll put in a card up above there. I uh, grabbed my paint and put it on my palette, which is not a fancy palette. It is a carryout lid. I find that because they're plastic and flexible, it's really easy to peel the paint off after I'm done when it dries. That's the art uh, that I'm working from, which is the original, the very first bowl like this that I painted. I'm trying to make all the subsequent bowls uh, similar, even though they will all be slightly different because they're hand painted. So I start to work in the uh, all the feathers on the body and the tail, and then I go to the wings. Yeah, that first wing didn't turn out. I kind of had to get rid of it. I wanted it to, to have a certain little swoop to it, so I just cleaned it off and redid it. Going through and putting in highlights and shadows until the wings really pop. Now the trick is getting the other wing to match, or at least be close. Sometimes when the paint dries, because it dries quickly out, you'll see me scrape it off with my fingernail. If I don't like what I painted there, I can always go back through and scrape it off and redo. Getting those little eyes just right. And that's vodka that I'm wiping the uh, bowl down with. It allows the paint to stick and wipes off any fingerprints. Now I'm doing the, uh, the little trees around the bottom with their delicate little branches. takes a really delicate hand and you have to be careful not to be too shaky to get it all just right. And there it is. I still have to add the stars to it, but I wanted to stop for a minute and let you take a look at how the trees and everything look as I turn the bowl around so you can see it. I use one of my colored pencils uh, and I just dip it in the uh, in the paint 
to add the stars, I find that I get a nicer little circle dot that way and kind of try to do some small stars, some large stars, just like when you look up in the night sky, you'll see that some are bigger and some are smaller and kind of group them randomly rather than look like polka dots, you know, so it looks like a natural night sky. And there it is, finished. The next thing I'll do is follow the instructions on the bottle of paint uh, to cure this in the oven and wrap it up and ship it off to my Etsy customer. But of course, before I do that, I have to sign it. Okay, well, that took a little while, but now it's finished. Of course, it was much faster for you guys because I uh, sped it up. <laughs> you wouldn't want it to sit there that long, believe me. But yeah, I'm happy with how it turned out. I like the little, the little trees. He's flying over the tops of the trees. And the little moon there turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with it. So these little scrying bowls are just lovely for filling with water or some kind of brew and, ga <laughs> and gazing into uh, to try to see visions and uh, get some insight into any situation. They also are really nice offering bowls uh, if you want to put them on your altar space and fill them with flowers or offerings to spirit they're really nice for that some people like uh, the money jar spell that I did uh, some people prefer to use a bowl than a jar and this is something like this would be really lovely for that you can use these for all kinds of things but as you can see it's a uh, all hand painted and each one is unique even though I try to base the designs off of the pictures that I put on my Etsy store uh, so that they're close to the same. Uh, each one, because they're hand painted, is definitely unique. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed uh, watching me work on this. I think it was a lot of fun. Thanks again for coming to see me here uh, in my magical workspace today. Uh, even though it's not my studio, it's, it's still my magic space. I bring my magic with me everywhere I go, just like you do. I want to give a big thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure that you do. I have lots more videos coming, and I'm bringing you a new one every week. So come back and see me next week, and I'll have something brand new for you. I don't even know what it'll be yet. It's a surprise to me. It's a surprise to you. We'll all be surprised together. I will post a link in the description for the Halloween slash Samhain cards that I created if you're interested in those. Uh, and I will also put a link to the scrying bowls so that you can see those as well. Uh, pictures of them better close up and if anybody's interested, of course, I'd love to paint one for you uh, as long as I have the time. And I do have a little bit of time right now. I've got some publishing projects coming up soon that I'm going to have to get on on to. Uh, I've got a couple articles that I need to write that are due at the end of the month. And I have a super secret project that I'm working with with another author. Uh, it's going to be a really cool I can't tell you what it's going to be, but it's going to be really cool. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, watch for that coming up uh, in the year ahead. I can't really talk about it until it's been contracted, but uh, it'll be really cool. The uh, uh, I'm working with another author there writing, and I'm illustrating a project. So watch for that coming up. Um, thanks again for stopping by, and I will see you next week. In the meantime... Remember to always be your magic.